In need of a kidney transplant will have to wait after the hospital in San Francisco called off the surgery. As KTVU's Patty Lee tells us now, it's the man's immigration status that is holding up the operation. Jesus Navarro, slowly dying from kidney failure, fears he won't live to see his three-year-old daughter grow up. I had my insurance, I had work, I had everything. After six and a half years on the kidney transplant list, Navarro made it to the top, only to find out surgery would be unlikely because he would not be able to afford the lifetime of follow-up care required. As an undocumented worker, he is not entitled to Medicare and Medi-Cal, which often picks up the bulk of the costs. The Navarro's plight is gaining national attention and support is pouring in. $400 since this website went live last Thursday. He's paid his taxes. He waited his time on the list. He did everything he was supposed to do. Advocate Donald Kagan says UCSF should perform the transplant surgery because it's the right thing to do. But UCSF disagrees. The hospital says it does not make decisions based on immigration status. Instead, a spokesman told us that because there's such a shortage of organs, the ethical thing to do is make sure it's given to the person with the best chance of long-term survival. And that includes the necessary follow-up care. Jesus Navarro's wife spoke to us off camera. She's hoping to donate her own kidney to her husband. I'm afraid that he's going to die next week, next month, next year. I don't know what's going to happen. The Navarros and UCSF are expected to meet soon to discuss their options. In San Ramon, Patty Lee, KTVU, Channel 2 News.